Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of my favorite new pieces of gear as we head into the spring season. I really like doing these types of videos as it provides me an opportunity to look back at some of the items that I've enjoyed testing out recently and also give a little bit of a preview to some of the more in-depth videos that I'll be doing over the next couple of months. For this video, I've assembled a variety of objects from clothing to organizers and of course bags, so hopefully there's a little something for everyone. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Danny, and on this channel, we love taking a look at popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. One additional note for this video is that I'm very excited to be partnering with Side by Side to do a little bit of a giveaway as a thank you to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you wanna find out how to enter, make sure to stick around until the end of the video. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. First on the list, I have the Outlier New Way Shorts, and I actually did an in-depth video for these recently and have been very excited to put these to use during the spring and summer months as the weather is starting to heat up. Thankfully, I live pretty close to a bunch of great hiking trails, springs, and I'm also not too far from the beach. So having something like this really simplifies my day-to-day -day as I have a pair of shorts that are comfortable enough to just kind of explore in, jump into the water in, they dry quickly, they look great. I can dress them up or down with a button-down shirt if I wanna use these for a nicer lunch or brunch or something like that. And then when I start traveling a little bit more, one of my favorite things is that I can combine the number of shorts that I have to take. Instead of having to take three shorts with me, I can just use these. They're versatile enough, they're super durable, and if you're looking for a pair of shorts that can do it all, then this is gonna be one of the best options to take a look at. Up next, we have a new compressible shoe pouch from Knack. On the channel, we recently reviewed the Series 2 Knack Pack, which is just a phenomenal everyday carry and minimal travel bag. The expansion on that is implemented super well, so I was very excited to see Knack apply a similar concept to something like a shoe pouch to help you save space while you're traveling. Shoes are some of the bulkier items that you'll normally have to carry with you. They take up a lot of space, and I've started to use a lot of shoe bags while traveling just to keep you know, all the dirt and germs from my shoes away from the other items in my bag. But I really like that Knack has kind of stepped it up with this unique design that allows you to put some shoes into this pouch. It has plenty of space. I have a larger shoe. I have an 11 and a half and it's able to fit in here very comfortably. And then because of the straps that are on the outside, you can really tighten down the shoes to save some space when you're trying to pack them into a smaller bag. So I really love the concept here. This is very lightweight, it's super durable, it works very well with the rest of Knack's ecosystem of accessories. And if you're just looking for a shoe pouch that you're gonna be able to pair with pretty much any travel bag that you want, then this is gonna be a fantastic option to keep in mind. The next item on the list is the Air Slim Pouch. And this is one of a few pouches that we're gonna be including in this video. And so far the Air Slim Pouch has been one of my favorite to use as it just has a very simple layout, but it still has Air's modern and minimal aesthetic. It just looks very sleek, it matches up great with a lot of the other bags from Air that, that we featured on the channel. I really love how much this can hold. It's actually a little bit larger than you would think given its slimmer form factor. The internal layout works very well. And this is the type of accessory that's been particularly useful as I've been working more from home and from coffee shops and just out and about. When I'm on the go, it's so helpful helpful to have a pouch like this that you can just rest next to you while working and have you know quick access to all of your dongles and accessories. And so if you're just looking for a simple pouch that's gonna offer a nice amount of space and that's gonna fit into a bag that's not super bulky, then the Air Slim Pouch is gonna be one of the best options to take a look at. Another company that has released some great pouches this year is Wandered. And here I have their brand new tech pouch, which comes in a few different sizes. This is the medium version that I did an in-depth video for. They also have a toiletry kit that they released that has a very similar form factor. And these have been some fantastic pouches, particularly for minimal travel, as they're pretty lightweight and they have a small form factor that packs down well into some of the 30 and 35 liter bags that I normally like to travel with. They just don't take up a ton of space and because they have simpler layouts, they can actually hold an impressive amount of stuff. So like the Air Slim Pouch, this has just been fantastic to have with me while I've been doing some road trips, visiting family, and I just wanna save a little bit on space. If you don't need something quite as robust as the Air Slim Pouch, then this is gonna be a fantastic option to consider as well. And then the last pouch that we have on the list is from Side by Side. And I have become such a fan of all the different accessories that Side by Side comes out with. They always seem to think of a lot of little things that I wouldn't normally think that I would need, but once I see them, they make a lot of sense. So this pouch in particular has been great during this kind of new normal that we have with the pandemic going around 
everyone's carrying masks and hand sanitizer. And so this is the perfect little accessory to keep all of that stuff organized and easily accessible. This pouch has two zippers to allow you to store some masks. I like that they have little labels on the inside to indicate which one is in use and which one is a spare. On the back, you have a few pockets that are gonna hold something like the clear uh, bottle that they have for some hand sanitizer. They also threw in a carabiner so you can hook this pouch onto a bag or you can pair this with the hand sanitizer. And there's also a little uh, pen accessory that allows you to just not have to touch all those screens that are out in the world these days. So it has a little stylus and some mini pens. You can sign something if you're paying with a credit card. So just a lot of very thoughtful inclusions on this kit. And so it's been very versatile to use. Side by Side has also come out with some really interesting items that I've featured in other videos, such as some dry bags, some little zippered pouches that have places to hold things like your SIM cards and SIM ejector tools. And that's really why I was so excited when the company offered to put up one of their power packers for a giveaway on the channel. I've been using the Power Packer for the past couple of years, and it's one of the more versatile tech organizers that I've had the chance to test out. This was backed on Kickstarter. It's very popular. The build quality on it is phenomenal. I really love some of the unique features to this. It's great for holding bulkier accessories, and I just really love its overall form factor. So, you know, it's just a very solid tech organizer that has held up well over the years. And as I mentioned in the intro, if you wanna find out how you can enter to win one for yourself, make sure to stick around until the end of the video. Moving into a few tech accessories that have been particularly helpful while working remotely. Next up, I have a portable external monitor. And this is something that I didn't even know was a thing. I was super surprised when I started researching to see how slim these monitors could actually get. This is about the same size as the Levitate portable standing desk, which I feature in a lot of my daily bag videos. I didn't really think that there was an actual like 15 inch monitor that I could toss into a bag and easily pair with a laptop while I was working remotely. And so this has been particularly helpful in my house as I don't have a ton of desk space. I don't want to set up a lot of monitors, but sometimes I do want a little bit of extra screen real estate while I'm working on a spreadsheet and a doc at the same time or I'm editing a video and I want to see some of my notes it's just super convenient to have this and then when I don't need to use it it folds up into this tiny form factor and it just stays out of the way now there are a ton of these available on Amazon I got a little bit overwhelmed when I was researching you know which one I should get and they come in at pretty good price points this one I got for a little over a hundred dollars it has a 1080p resolution one of my favorite things about it is that it's powered with just a USB-C cable. It doesn't have an extra power source. It does drain my laptop battery a little bit, but you know, a worthy trade-off for the simplicity of having this. You can just set it up wherever you go very easily. It comes with its own integrated stand that also works as a protective case. And again, there's tons of different options for these. One of the things I've noticed about this particular one that I bought, I'll make sure to link to it in the description below, is that the brightness on the screen can get a little low even when it's at its maximum. I still wish it was slightly brighter. So if you get something that's at a higher price point, it might have a little bit better um, you know, brightness and maybe some additional features. I'm not crazy about you know, screen resolution or anything like that. I just need something simple that will give me a little bit of extra space. So if you're like me, then this is gonna be a fantastic accessory to add to your kit. And then speaking of laptops, the other piece of technology that I've been very excited about is the M1 MacBook Pro. I decided to buy into the hype and just see what everyone was going crazy about with these M1 MacBooks. So far, I have to say I have been very impressed with the performance that this offers. The battery life is amazing. It works very fast, especially for my editing workflow that's not super intense. It's probably way more than I need. But you know, I had seen some great videos on all the updates that were made to the M1. Dean from Packing Less did a really great video on this MacBook. I'll make sure to link to his video in the description below. It probably goes into a lot more detail than I would want to for the purposes of this video. But all I can say is it has definitely been a big improvement from the Touch Bar MacBook Pro that I had that was from about 2018. Now that one was only an i5 processor and it had eight gigs of RAM. I did upgrade a few of those things on this one. But as I've said, so far, it's just been an incredible performance boost. I love how the laptop doesn't tend to get hot even when I'm editing for a longer period of time. The battery life holds up very well. One note that I did wanna make for anybody who's considering this that I was a little bit surprised by, I was kind of frustrated when I first got the MacBook and that's on me for not doing better research, but with the 2018 MacBook Pro that I got, there were four USB-C ports. The M1 MacBook Pro, that's been upgraded with 16 gigs of RAM. This isn't the most entry level MacBook. It only comes with two USB-C ports, which is a little bit infuriating. 
I really loved having those four points on that last uh, MacBook that I had. It just gave a lot more versatility, even though with the USB-C life, you have to have a lot of dongles, which can work well with these ports. It's still very limiting, particularly while charging. I need the cable to be on a particular side before I can just plug it into wherever was closest to the outlet. So something that frustrated me a little bit, I'm gonna be very sad if Apple releases an upgraded MacBook Pro within the next few months that has the four ports. I believe that the most expensive MacBook Pro M1 may have those extra ports, I'm not sure. So just something to keep in mind, but regardless, it's been a great experience so far and I'll be excited to see you know, how this performs over the next few years. And then given that I spent a fair amount of money on that brand new MacBook, I was very excited to see that Matador released a new laptop based layer, which is gonna offer a lot of protection for your devices. Now Matador makes some great packable and lightweight gear and this is just a perfect addition to their modular system of accessories. And so the base layer offers a nice amount of padding in a lightweight package for a various number of devices. You can fit a 15 or 16 inch laptop in here comfortably. Of course, my 13 inch MacBook Pro is gonna fit very easily. And one of the most interesting things about this is that it offers protection against water. This is actually waterproof, given that it has a roll top closure that you can secure very, very well to keep your device protected from the elements. Matador offers a lot of gear for exploring the outdoors. And you know, that's a great thing to do, especially these days where you need to stay a little bit more socially distant. And when you're going to the outdoors, if you wanna take your device, this is, this is gonna be something that's gonna give you a lot more peace of mind while traveling. So it just offers padding, protection against the elements. It includes a zippered pocket so you can store some of your accessories, particularly if you're going to a coffee shop and you don't wanna take a whole bag, you can just toss in your charger and maybe a mouse, and then it has a nice little carrying handle. And this just pairs very nicely with a lot of the other accessories in Matador's ecosystem or just with any travel bag that you wanna add a little bit of extra protection to. Speaking of Matador, another piece of their gear that I've really enjoyed testing out recently is the Beast 28 Packable Backpack. This is an updated version from their original. I'm gonna be doing an in-depth video on this and the laptop base layer, but so far this has been great to use. I really love how much Matador has been able to add into this bag as a packable backpack. It just has an incredible back paneling. The straps are really comfortable. And you know, this is an excellent hiking bag as I've started to get into the outdoors a little bit. It's great to have something like this that offers a ton of weather resistance. It's lightweight. At 28 liters, it can hold a ton of stuff. It could even be a very ultra lightweight minimal travel bag. We'll talk a little bit more about that in the video for it. it. Has water bottle pockets, a lot of attachment points. So I just really love all the upgrades that have been made here it's still a lightweight bag that can pack down flat it also has the ability to fold into like a packable form factor it's not as packable as many other packable bags that we featured even from matador they have some smaller ones that are probably different than the intended use case for this but just a very versatile bag overall and i'm excited to share the in-depth video to talk a little bit more about what this can hold and how it's worked out as i've tested it out over the past month the next bag I've included on the list is the updated version of the Air Fit Pack. I was super excited when Air announced that they would be updating their active collection and the upgrades did not disappoint. This has been one of my favorite tech and everyday carry and gym bags that I've tested out recently. I already loved the Fit Pack too. It was such a versatile and comfortable bag. So everything that Air added just made it an even better experience. I love the inclusion of the water bottle pockets. There's an upgraded laptop sleeve and it still just has the same sleek form factor that can hold an impressive amount of stuff. They've also released the Duffel Pack 3, which I'll be doing an in-depth video for. I've been using the Fit Pack 3 a little bit more recently as I haven't been carrying as much stuff, but both are fantastic options. And if you're looking for just a stylish, durable, and versatile gym in an everyday bag, then it's gonna be really tough to beat either of these bags. And then the last item that I have on the list is the Able Carry Max Backpack, which has been one of the most impressive travel bags that I've tested out over the past year. On the channel, we featured a pre-production model of this bag, which was just great. And I was very excited when I was able to get my hands on one of the recently released versions that actually came in all black. You know that I'm crazy about the black backpacks and I haven't had a chance to you know, travel as much over the past year like many others, but I have been looking to do some more road trips and hopefully during the summer, I'll have some airline trips, you know, if everything goes according to plan. And so I'm excited to put this to the test. This is just such an impressive bag from Able Carry. They always put so much thought 
into their bags. Their quality is incredible. They're very comfortable. And the Able Carry Max backpack is no different, but it also offers a little bit more space than some of their daily bags. So it's great for minimal one bag travel. It can hold an impressive amount of stuff at 30 liters. It has a very unique water bottle system. I love all the organizational options that it provides. And it also has a great area for your laptop and your tank accessories. So just a very versatile bag. It's a little bit big for me still for everyday carry. It's definitely more of a travel bag, but I've just been super impressed. I love the aesthetic. And if you're interested in a minimal travel bag or something that's going to give you some extra capacity for your day to day, this is going to be one of the best options to take a look at. And so that's it. Those are 10 of my favorite new pieces of gear heading into the spring season. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions on the items featured in this video, as always, please let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in participating in our giveaway with Side by Side so that you can win your very own Power Packer, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and also drop a comment below. I want to thank Side by Side again for partnering with us for the giveaway and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. And we will see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.